doing chores around the house. No pun intended. What's going on, my friends? I hope you guys are well. We are going to be cleaning linens, sheets, and blankets today. I've got all the stuff I got to get done. I all my music stuff I'm trying to get done and just uh, running errands. We're going to get it done today. Got to get the refrigerator back in here. Might take two of us. Depends. I probably could lift it. It's not as full as it was, so. I probably could get that in here. Not a biggie. <clears throat> but anyway, as you can see, there's no sheets or blankets on the bed. So we got to go to the laundry mat. We've got to get that done because that's not going to fit in the washing machine at my dad's. When I had my washer and dryer at my condo, it was a large capacity. They were, they were some, uh, oh God, it was sweet. It was, uh, they weren't Samsung. They were, uh, I can't remember, but it, it's. They were nice. Let's just put it that way. I think they could have uh, grabbed my laundry out of the hamper and done everything for me. They were that nice. So, uh, in fact, Clancy bought. He and his wife bought those when I sold everything at the condo, which they were. They are very happy with those. With that pair of the washer and dryer, they love it. They are putting it to good use. Believe it. Um, it was nice, but anyway. We're going to get that stuff done here today. It is Monday. The weather is beautiful. And see if we can get off a good start to the week. That's what we want to do here. It'll be cool. And I think I'm going to make plans here next week or two. I might take a little trip. I think that's what we want to do. Got to make the best of all this stuff. You know, we're real weirded out about uncertain times and everybody's conspiracy theories about what governments are trying to do. It's a little scary. But we'll get through it. Things are awfully interesting right now. As they say, uh, we hope history doesn't repeat itself. That's why we always have to learn from it. You learn from history, it will never repeat itself. It's kind of a scary thing right now. But we'll get through all this. We're going to be back strong. Anyway, we'll be back at you later. I've got to... Uh mention something here and I didn't realize till just, till just now and, and I don't check them near as often I apologize for this I really do some of you guys made a couple comments uh you know comment on my videos in a positive way and I thank you so much and I will bring you more content and you know if there's anything I can review or something i'd love to do that um some of them were sent in the re for review section i don't know why and it's sometimes you, you put keywords in and it'll kick them out that you approve them but i don't get the notification on that and i don't know what it was and sorry about that i will definitely um uh sorry about this i'm in my dad's office here and it's my studio part-time here while I'm, till i get back in the van but um but like I said, I'll do a better job trying to check the review section because you get a lot of this spam where there's people trying to put weird links on there and, and it kicks those out. So I'll figure that out. But anyway, other than that, <laughs> we're getting towards being back in the van probably tomorrow night. Get the refrigerator back in and we'll be good to go for sure. Okay, so we are going to go get the water filled. I put that Camco treatment in my water tanks because the uh, my six-gallon tank in my gray five-gallon bucket, hey, it works, uh, seemed to be sitting there for two and a half months or so, and I need to just treat it and clean it and let it get into the lines. And then I'll drain all that and fill up some water. I got a little place I could get water. We're going to go do that. Take this thing for a little drive that's needed. Not to mention that I need to uh, plan on, I think maybe next week or so, or right after, I'm going to go take a little drive and get out of town for a few days because that needs to happen. Got to get my butt out of town for a few days because I need to do that. So we're going to do that. And, uh, I think that will be so cool. The weather is gorgeous today. Hopefully, when I do go, the weather is this nice. Because uh would be no sense in going if there's rain in the forecast anywhere. We don't need that. 
No, we don't. Absolutely not. So, right, so we got our water. Got that filled up. It's pretty cool. I am going to get my van clean. It needs to get washed. So I'm here at the self-service car wash because I didn't like doing it at the house. I've got to get the van clean and tires shine, the wheels clean, and then I'm going to put that ceramic coating on the van. It's just been a while since I've done it. That needs to get done. So, But I will tell you, it's... Uh, I don't know if I've shown my water system, but I'll do it here in a little bit. I think it'd be cool. I was around a bunch of people and just busy trying to get the water filled up, so I didn't have a chance to then. So, but let's get this thing washed. So I haven't filled up my tank with my seafoam. I talked about that seafoam in the last video. So we're going to put it in here. Basically, all you do is, like I said in the last one, if you fill your tank up, just get about a gallon of gas used. It doesn't even have to be a gallon because it's only 16-ounce can. So just take the cap off of it. You're going to have to pull the tab out of here. This isn't rocket science. I'm showing y'all something that anybody can, anybody could figure out here. Just get this thing off of here carefully so I don't spill it all over me because I know I will. And um, let's put this over here. All you gotta do is just pour it in your tank. Just uh, just pour it right in your tank here, so it's easy peasy. So I've got my chamois here. I'm gonna get this thing dried off and my wheels clean. This thing's looking good. And then I'm gonna. use a little something you get this at walmart but there are brands that may be better it's just a her hybrid it's the hybrid solutions ceramic coating it's good every three to six months i'm well overdue it's good to put this on your car and keep it coated it really does help uh that's what i should have kept on my honda my car and i let things go in that deal and um it's it is what it is you live and you learn but I don't care, you know. I buy cars to drive them. I literally run the wheels off of them. That's just me. So my Honda is about five years old. It's a, it's a five-year-old vehicle. It's about six years old. I've had it about that. It's a 2016. Um, great car. It's an HRV. I love that car. So anyway, but we're going to get this thing cleaned up and get it looking good. Well, the van is looking good. It's looking so good. Got it all shiny. It's been a while since I needed to do that. Oh boy, I gotta be careful how I'm backing out of here. We don't want to back up in anything. No, we don't. But I got that ceramic coating stuff on there. It always helps. I think the good thing about that is, I think it's just better than waxing your car because what it does, and most of you already know this, it just helps keep bugs and debris from sticking to the paint and keeps it shiny and nice. And easier to clean when you go to wash it. It's basically a ceramic coating wax. Um, at least that's what I've always been told, and I'm hoping that's the case. So, but I'm going by my storage unit. I've got to drop something off. And got this stuff done for the day. I've got to get some music stuff done. Just kind of, that's how I roll in my day. Make time for everything, man. You got to budget your time. So do we all. So my water system is pretty simple. I showed this in my tour, but I got a door that goes on the outside and on the inside. It's cool. So the outside, you can open up. And there's the gray tank, which you can use five-gallon bucket. You can use, I had originally one of those Reliant seven gallons, but it just took up too much room. So you can do anything you want. You can make this as simple or as complicated as you want it. Um, you can run around and put a wheel well tank and have a larger water tank, whatever you want to do. But um, basically, that's just your gray tank, and there is your water. And that's a C-Flow pump. That thing is great. I'm going to tell you right now, that thing was quieter and runs better than my RV one did. My Winnebago trimmed. Comes up, and there it is. And speaking of that, yeah, i got to turn the power of my water off. Let's turn it off. There we go. I didn't even know it was still on. 
that's my water system, folks. I've got stuff stored under there. Sometimes I think that maybe my sink may have been too big, but that's okay. This thing is pretty cool. Still a little bit more work left to do. And I'll be talking about that baby right there pretty soon. Uh, I don't know what I can talk about it, but we will talk about refrigerators. Because we're going to talk about portable power. So I so went to Walmart. Just getting some stuff done today. You know how that is. Um, you know, and the thing I've had in my RV and I had in this van here is, you know, you got to conserve space and... You'll find, if you don't know, and if you do know, you know what I'm talking about. Most RVers don't drink water from their water tanks in the RV. They use that for brushing their teeth or their hands or rinsing stuff off. And that's pretty much what I do with this. Yeah, I keep it clean, you know, and I could probably put a really good filter between that and all that. But, you know, for drinking water, if I ever need to, I've got a Berkey water filter from Mill and Nowhere. But I would, like, go to Walmart and I would buy these big 40 pack of plastic bottles and I mean, you know, just drinking Trev and that's cool and all, but it's a pain in the butt because the big pack of water sitting on the floor in the way and yes, it could go up under in storage but if there's other things, it's still a hassle. So my thought is these things are a gallon at a time and the good thing about these is you can fill them up and I can go with that water fountain that I filled up today is do two gallons or three gallons at a time, carry them two gallons out, carry them over and dump them in there and get that thing filled up quicker. So, but the thing is, is I can have a couple of these bottles and I could tie them together and have them sit somewhere where they're not going to spill. The only thing is it seals tight at the top. I don't know about this. Oh shit. Sorry. Just a bloody flesh wound. It's all, <laughs> but anyway, I'm good. We're good. But I mean, this thing here, does it seal enough to where if it tipped over, it wouldn't spill, you know? Just all over the place here with that, sorry. We're gonna try it, you know, for a few dollars a bottle. I'll have a use for them if it doesn't work for that, so why not? So, anyway, got a lot of stuff done today, which is cool. What's going on, guys? I am, um, guess it's, uh, it's Friday. The weather's been great. Um, I really want to start sleeping back in my van again. I'm going to do that starting this weekend. I've been putting off a little bit because I didn't treat my water tank and run that too. I've got it treated. I'm going to empty it and fill it up tomorrow. And some other things I wanted to get before I was in there. I don't want to be in the middle of the night if I got hungry or something. I could get some stuff in my refrigerator and that thing. I really do. Got to get some water, some bottled water in there and stuff, you know. Wake up in the middle of the night going, damn, I'm hungry, but I don't want to walk in the house and wake everybody up. So we ain't going to do that. Normally, I get to sleep at night. I don't get up unless I have to. Sometimes, yeah. You got to get up in the middle of the night. You know, what can you do on that deal? So, be it that it may. But uh, everything is tested out great with the power. But I think what I want to do is I'm going to run that battery down. I got about 10% down on it. We had a lot of overcast today, so I didn't get a lot of solar. So the refrigerator compressor in a day, if you got good solar, that's why I say, and I'm going to talk about, I've got an Alpacool CF55. Refrigerators just don't use this power. He's 12 volt fridges. I tell these guys all the time, don't worry about that. You know, don't think you'll get a cooler because I can't run the power from a refrigerator. You got good soap where it keeps it supplemented. Refrigerator is the least of your worries. Uh, when the compressor is running on mine, it's running about 22 watts. It's not pulling much in amps at all. I mean, this is a 12 volt refrigerator. It'll run 12 volt and 120. It'll automatically, when you plug it in, it sees what you're doing. It's got an external adapter on it, obviously, that, that converts that power. So it knows I have an adapter for 120 and I have an adapter for 12 volt. So, you know, you plug it in, it's gonna know. But be it that it may, um, it just doesn't use it. So let's say I had a lot of solar today. That probably wouldn't have used with about less than 5% of my battery and probably would have topped it 100%. So it would have been probably around 98% and by the end of the day as a whole in my refrigerator. So that and your lights and your fans, that's the least of your power. That's the beauty of it. 200 amp, where 200 amp hours is kind of ideal, but they would say three or four, if you really boondock a lot, three or four 100 amp hours is ultimate to a certain degree. Um, and then double your solar. I've got 300 watts of solar on the roof. If you go 600 watts it's per, and you have more battery bank, it's the same time to charge or it would it would cut the charge time in half with the same amp hours I got. 
But just remember, the more amp hours of battery, more battery bank you have, the longer it's going to take to charge up. So if you can keep the what you've got managed in the time where it doesn't ever leave you short, which with lithium, we really don't have to worry about that stuff. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool indeed. So, so um, gosh, this week coming up is Thanksgiving. Gosh, I was going to maybe take a, I think after Thanksgiving, I'm going to go take a trip. The state park outside of Beaufort, South Carolina, I hit that it was closed that time when I traveled down to Florida. Uh, I'm going to go back there and spend maybe a day or so, two. I want to go down, dry, drive down to Key West and just get out of town for a few days. I'm going to get that van out. It's just been too long and I'm just kind of get what traveling I can in in 2020 and we hope 2021 is better. Uh, yeah, that's the scary part, not knowing what's behind door number two. So, but anyway, we're gonna we're gonna get on that, and uh, hopefully, I should be in the uh, in the van sleeping in my own bed this weekend. Golly, it's much more comfortable than the one I've been sleeping in. That's it. My neck has been screaming at me. So anyway, I'm gonna get off here. Uh, it's I'll keep you posted as time goes on more and more. I mean, I, uh, not much going on right now, but it's going great. And I hope it is for you guys. And thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on the next video. Be cool. Bye.